Hey y'all, be reacting to Gaiba episode 4, and I'll be starting my reaction from the 7 second mark in... 1, 0, go! Alright. Alright, starting out with the similar lines from the previous episode to an extent. When it comes to like, the intro. But yeah, I don't mind. I actually like looking at the animation when memory is just sucked in, put in the body. Man. Seeing Kronika, that was pretty darn sad, though. She honestly deserved better. Her and her, and obviously her fa naturally her family, you know, I'm remembering, I did mention that the previous episode did say that her aunt did give up her memories to, to get some money. And on uh, looking at the previous episode again, I was like, hmm. If that's the case, that explains the antagonistic nature that she had for her niece, at least until she started playing the piano and the memory started to pour back again, which... On retrospective, it just really makes that previous episode three even sadder. Ugh. I can only hope this episode has a happy conclusion, because so far, out of the three episodes, episode two somewhat ended sad. Somewhat. But episode three was really, really sad, though. I can only hope things end up happier for, for the characters. And Kaiba, of course. You know, there's Cornico's body and Kaba's body. I wonder if he's gonna eventually take over Vanilla's body. Hmm. Oh, okay. You know, that's gonna be some fun then. Whoa! <laughs> Definitely doesn't seem like the type of world oh, that would be a joy to live in. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, Vanilla. It's got the maximum, maximum thirst. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if this is actually a dream or it's actually happening. Because I don't think that Vanilla's a really, really busy man. But then again... <laughs> ah, yeah, uh, that is some a great bullshit there. Oh, wait, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Is he gonna recognize... Oh, I guess he doesn't recognize... The white creature. Good, good. Huh? Wait... What about the body? <laughs> no! Oh, man. I actually want to see Cornico's body... Intact, at the very least. The room of grandma's memories. Oh my. Yeah. 
and lemon. Pan be creeped out till we saw a crocodile dinosaur looking thing that can't speak. Be referring to though when it comes to how oh going by that the grams probably completely died then oh oh that's sweet probably money yeah Oh my! <laughs> I mean, hey, she should have asked. I mean, doesn't have, doesn't really have much options though, unless he uses Cornico's body as payment. Thankfully, though, they don't know about that. <laughs> Whoa! Where'd that come from? Oh my, oh my, oh my! I actually have been wanting to see what's on the inside of Kaba's mind. We actually haven't gotten any major introspection and hell, this actually fits the narrative! And this is actually pretty nice. What is going on? What? <laughs> oh man! You know, for a guy that has a really fat stomach, he's really, really fit. And would that gun even work in someone's memories? Hmm. I guess going off of this, I'm wondering if this is maybe one of. Kaba's memories right before he went through amnesia because I don't think he was ever seen him actually be in a spot where he has time to actually have some R and R and actually be able to read. Oh no, it's not a memory then. Whoa. So wait for that. Yo, are they actually gonna kill off Vanilla?
Well, it kind of left up there. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, at least it's better than having a cardiac arrest. <laughs> oh man, that got me so much actually. <laughs> Coughed a bit. Might as well. It's not like he has much uh, luxuries. Damn, that's kind of dirty, though, to think they'd... To think they would strong on their own grandmother like that. Hmm. That does help emphasize, though. Aside from me mentioning that the planet's gravity-like, it does actually... Give this episode more grittiness because considering that it started out with a creature eating another creature like that, it does help give it an extra layer of dog eats dog kind of world. Hopefully it's the one. I actually wonder how the device works though. Does time still flow by there properly or is it slower when someone's inside of another person's memory? That's what I'm wondering. I didn't quite mention the capabilities of... Oh yeah. What in the? Yeah, we'd probably be there for ages if it just goes through every single book. Oh my. Kind of makes me really feel bad for the grandmother though, because in all honesty, yeah, even though she tr wanted to try to get the money from Kaiba, she regardless did help patch him up. And it's not like there's a... Whoa! Actually, the first time we actually see someone actually talk instead of their own memories. I really kind of like that message there, where even just even the insignificant things can breathe a lot of life, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Kind of like I'm giving the message of... To have that world can... <laughs> the thing is though, she's... It's living in a fantasy though. She's gotta accept reality. Eventually. No matter 
as painful as it can be. I mean, that sense of optimism is cute, yeah. the grandma when she was younger or maybe it could be the image of his daughter oh so that was her when she was younger then from the looks of it Even though it's still sad, she has to accept it. There's nothing wrong with accepting someone's death. The only thing you can do is just acknowledge that we're there. The only thing you can do is just think about a loved one after they've passed away. I mean, other people have their different ways of coping. Just as long as you remember. Actually, nice to get the so look, going by that thing she knew the so she knew the grandpa since when they were very really young then oh that's cute so that's it But was it really worth the risk, though? I mean, I, I guess that is an... Oh. oh, man, no. That's the thing, though. Sometimes people have the intention of doing something good for at the bottom of their heart, but it ends up making a situation worse. But that is... Kinda with the grandpa, but you should at least try to live as much as you can. Kinda like how this it has another message too, where even even if you're completely alone, you should still try to you should still try to live because who knows how your loved ones beyond the grave would react to it if you just give up on life. And you should always try to have hope. I don't like how it has that powerful message too. Wait, so she's actually accepting... So, uh, looks like she's gonna accept death then. And I think I know what they mean by treasure. That flower was a symbol of their love. Hmm. And I can see why it's a treasure because anything that's a. Oh, that's the only thing those two are thinking about? It's 
Gonna have a grandma like that is a treasure on its own. Better and more valuable than any other physical, materialistic treasure. Man. Oh. That really just wants to tear me apart, doesn't it? That's Edition Valley and keep on to it. Appreciate what they actually have. Especially the fact that they're both alive. Track. Damn it. Ugh. Really got me in the feels. There. Oh my. And it's nice to actually get to see Vanilla's gentleness too in sequences like that. Oh. Oh. I mean, at least they had each other when they died. Episode. Oh, made me feel bits of sadness. Wow. Oh. I'm gonna rate this one at ten out of ten. Uh, uh, yeah. Made me feel emotions that I wasn't expecting. I was gonna feel today. Fuck. I mean, with the way this anime is progressing just with four episodes, it'll definitely, it's probably going to be somewhere in my top animes of all time list. It's going to definitely be up there. Holy fuck. Just everything. And I love the setup. Like, it starts out slow, and it kind of has foreshadowing that something sad's going to happen, too. Like, when she keeps on mentioning, like, the grandpa, and then we keep on... The, Boys keep on talking about the treasure, I'm like, yeah. It's like the enemy was subtly telling, at least my mind subconscious, like, no, this is not going to end off happily. It's going to end depressing and sad. Just like episode three, and I'm just like... And then once it progresses and just see, start seeing her memories, I was just taken aback that we actually saw her, the inside of her mind... And they did a great job of building up the grand grandma too, just seeing how he helped out, helped out Kaiba, and then seeing the love she had for the grandpa, and then when she actually wanted to join him, even though the grandpa wanted her to keep on living, that was just really, really dang depressing. I was like, damn. Really made for a sad ending there, because it actually made you care about the grandma. She had some decent characterization. She was... She was, she was truly that, and then how she appreciated the more important things in life, not materialistic things, but her mem memories like that. Definitely loved it. Did great from a story standpoint, any character standpoint, thought the grandma was cool. You got characterization for Vanilla too, 
the very least. And Kaiba, you actually got character bone because he felt so sad that he actually made a grave for the grandma. That was really, really depressing. And yeah, animation art was beautiful. And that's why I think it doesn't deserve anything less than an 8 to 10 out of 10. Episode was just that good. And I'll definitely be reacting to the next episode for sure tomorrow. Most likely. Wow. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. I thought I delivered another exceptional one ep episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about reaction in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe, and also love its message of just appreciate what you have when it comes to family. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.